Okay, in the last video, we worked out the lattice enthalpy of sodium chloride um, using the Born Harbor cycle. Um, in this one, very similar, but just a little bit more complicated. Um, we're going to work out the lattice enthalpy of magnesium chloride. So, just a little um, what sort of things, what sort of data do we, are we going to be given here? Well, we need to, we need to know delta HF of magnesium chloride. Okay, so we'll have that. I won't write the numbers down here, but I think we, think we do need to know that. We need to know the, the delta H atomization, so the energy required to turn to form one mole of magnesium atoms in the gaseous state from, from the element. We need to know that. We need to know delta H out for chlorine as well. Um, we need to know the delta H out for chlorine. Um, we need to know the first ionization energy of magnesium. Uh, but magnesium isn't an Mg plus ion, it's an Mg2 plus ion. So we also need to know the second ionization energy of magnesium. We need to know how the en enthalpy changed when you stick an electron onto chlorine. That's the electron affinity. So we need to know the first electron affinity of chlorine. And if we have all that, all those bits of data, those six bits of data, we can work out um, the lattice enthalpy of formation. And just to remind ourselves, <coughs> we're going to end up with a little energy diagram. So there's energy going up there. We're going to do, we're going to call it formation. So we're going to have a very high sort of potential energy, chemical energy, magnesium gaseous ions at the top. There'll be two chloride ions there, um, and we are going to form magnesium chloride solid at the bottom, MgCl2 solid, and this is going to be the lattice enthalpy. This change here is this blue line, very lattice enthalpy formation, very exothermic. So let's do, let's go ahead and do that. So here's our energy line here, and as usual, I'm going to start off with the elements in the standard states. Okay, so I'm going to draw my magnesium. Uh, Mg solid and Cl2 gas and <coughs> bear in mind we need to get up to mag we need to turn it our magnesium into this Mg2 plus ion so what we're going to do well first thing we need to do is turn it into a gas so Mg gas we haven't done anything to the chlorine at all. What's that? Well, that's the atomization, isn't it? Delta H atomization of magnesium. Once we've got our magnesium as a gas, then we have got to turn it into the Mg2 plus ion, which takes two steps. Um, so the first step, we're going to turn it into an Mg plus one plus ion. Nothing happens to the chlorine. And then I should put the gases in there. And then the second step, I, we're going to ionize it again. Now, I should even draw this to scale. The second one is going to be a lot bigger than the first, but it kind of is my first ionization energy. Because I'm going to run out, run out of room at the top, I haven't really done it. Um, actually, I can, I can cheat a little bit there, can't I? I can get rid of that. And there's a bit more room for me to make it a bit bigger. Still not to scale, it's much bigger than the first ionization energy. So that's going to be Mg2 plus gas, and nothing has happened to the chlorine, still that's still Cl2 gas. That is going to be the second ionization energy. Now the last step, and this is where I'm running out of step, well not the last step, but the last one going up, the last endothermic one is we are going to turn those the Cl2 into two chlorine atoms. So that's going to be two Cl gas and there's my mg2 plus right at the very top there okay but um that's not quite the full story is it because we don't want to have chlorine atoms we need these chlorine ions at the top don't we okay oh, no i should say here what have we done is this delta h at of chlorine it's not is it because we formed two moles of glaciers chlorine atoms there so it's two times delta H at the chlorine. Now we've got to stick the um, electrons onto chlorine. So that's going to go, remember that's exothermic, the electron affinity. 
So I'll just write down what these are. That is EXO. Um, that's EXO. And the others are all ENDO, aren't they? Right, so here we've got our, we're going to have our MG2+. Plus. Nothing happened to that in the last stage. And we need two Cl minus gas. Now, is this the electron affinity? We have to be careful it's not because we've got two chlorine atoms. It's two times the electron affinity. <clears throat> what I haven't done here is I haven't formed, formed my magnesium chloride, have I? Now that's exothermic, so that's going to be below there. So we want an arrow going down for that one. And that's MgCl2 solid. Okay, now where's our lattice enthalpy? Our lattice enthalpy of formation is going from the gaseous ions to the magnesium chloride solid. So it's in that direction. So it's definitely very exothermic. That's our lattice enthalpy. Now we need to work that out. Okay, so um, let's move that over a little bit there. I've got the values here. I'm going to rub out my little blue line, give myself a bit more room. Move it over there, so that's our energy. Yeah, increasing energy. And oh yeah, and here we want this to be delta HF of magnesium chloride. So I've got the numbers ready here, and you'll be given this data. So this is minus 641. Yeah, so minus 641. Uh, the atomization of magnesium. I haven't looked that one up again. I did that with the sodium last time. It is, won't be able to find it now. Here it is, magnesium. That um, delta H atomization of magnesium is a bit more than sodium, it's 148 plus 148. Uh, the first ionization energy of magnesium is 738. So that's bigger than that for sodium because it's got a bigger sodium is about 450 because magnesium's got an extra proton in the nucleus. And the second ionization energy much harder to remove the second one that's 1451. Uh, these are all positive values. Uh, here we have to put two times delta H at so that's two times 121 which is 242. Um, I'll just remind ourselves that's two times 121. So that's a, that's a kind of quite obvious mistake to make. And this one is going to be two times the electron affinity of chlorine is um, 349. So um, two times that is going to be 698. And that is minus, that is exothermic, isn't it? Okay. So what we do now is, um, as I say, we... Um, get a calculator and we add up everything on this side. Um, we don't worry that these are all positive except that one that's negative. And the, the reason why we don't worry is you can see, the whole point of doing the diagram is you can see that you're obviously going to add them all together because that goes down. Or if you want to think of it this way, right here you're going against the arrow so you change the sign. But to me it's just you looking at the height of it. That's the whole point of doing the diagram. Um, so add all those up, 242, 1451, 738, 148, and 641, ignoring the negative sign. Right, that all comes to 3,220, okay? So 3,220. This... So that we need to we need to know that whole height there, don't we? Yeah, and we have to subtract from that this value here, which is minus six nine eight. So the lattice enthalpy is going to be equal to formation is going to be um, three two two naught uh, minus six ninety eight. That's 2,522. Now we have to think that's 
what is the sign for that? It's formation. Well, the arrow is going which way? The arrow is going down, isn't it? So that means it is minus. Okay, and that's the units of kilojoules per mole. Okay, and just remind ourselves again that um, we compare the value, that's a very negative value, isn't it? Compare the value for the lattice enthalpy of sodium chloride, I think it was about 700 and uh, minus 780, loads less, and that's because the magnesium is a two plus ion, so it's much more strongly attracted to the negative chlorides, okay? And the magnesium is also smaller than the sodium ion, and that makes the attraction stronger as well, doesn't it? Remember the old equation, force between the ions is the charge on one ion times the charge on the negative ion, okay? And divide by R squared, where R is the separation of the, of the um, ions. Okay, so that is work, that is, we've worked out there using the born harbor cycle, the value for the lattice enthalpy formation of magnesium chloride.